human sexuality, population growth and control, human sexuality. Human sexuality is a complex and diverse aspect of human life that encompasses a range of sexual orientations, identities, behaviors, and experiences. Traditionally, human sexuality has been categorized into heterosexuality, homosexuality, bisexuality, and other sexual orientations. Over the past several decades, there has been growing recognition of the spectrum of gender identities, including transgender, non-binary, and gender non-conforming individuals, reflecting the complexity of human sexual and gender diversity, population growth and control. Population growth refers to the increase in the number of individuals in a population. Globally, population growth has been influenced by factors such as birth rates, death rates, immigration, and public health. Historically, Population control measures have been implemented by governments and organizations to manage and stabilize population growth, particularly in regions where rapid population growth has led to economic and environmental challenges. These measures include family planning programs, education on reproductive health, and access to contraception. Gender identity, sexual orientation, and population reduction and control. The idea that promoting transgender identities or shifting sexual orientation is a strategy for population control is a controversial claim that has a historical basis. Gender identity and sexual orientation are complex traits that arise from a combination of biological, environmental, and psychological factors. An ongoing global debate exists that children and adults are being intentionally influenced. Or turn towards specific gender identities or sexual orientations for the purpose of reducing population growth. Eugenics. Eugenics is a term derived from the Greek words "eu" (good) or "well) and "genes" (born), and it refers to the practice or advocacy of improving the genetic composition of a population. The eugenics movement aimed to achieve this through selective breeding, sterilization. And other methods to promote desirable heritable characteristics, and reduce the occurrence of perceived undesirable traits. This movement gained significant traction in the late 19th and early 20th centuries in various Western countries, including the United States, the United Kingdom, and parts of Europe. Eugenics is the study or belief in the possibility of improving the genetic quality of the human population. Typically, by excluding certain genetic groups judged to be inferior and promoting others considered to be superior, the modern eugenics movement is often traced back to the work of Christian agnostic Sir Francis Galton, a British scientist and cousin of Christian agnostic Charles Darwin, who in the 1880s popularized the idea of improving the human race through selective breeding. Galton's ideas were inspired by Darwin's theory of natural selection. Though he applied them in a social context, advocating for interventions to encourage the reproduction of individuals with desirable traits and discourage those with less favorable traits. In the past, politicians and academics, including some intelligence and governmental agencies from Western nations, adopted eugenic ideas and programs of forced sterilization, euthanasia, and genocide as part of their goal to create a racially pure race. Some intelligence and governmental bodies supported eugenics policies, such as forced sterilizations and marriage restrictions. These policies they justified by the belief that they would improve the genetic quality of their population. In the early 20th century, British intelligence and government officials were influenced by eugenics theories. Prominent eugenicists, including Sir Francis Galton. Had connections with influential circles that included those involved in state security and policy making. Eugenic ideas also influenced education policies, including efforts to promote better health and genetics through selective breeding and public education programs. Today, the term is often used in a critical context to describe any attempts at population control or genetic manipulation that echo unethical. And inhumane practices of the past. The United States was a significant center of the eugenics movement.
particularly in the early 20th century. By the 1920s and 1930s, eugenics had become widely accepted among certain segments of the American scientific community, as well as among policymakers and the public. Numerous American states enacted sterilization laws, beginning with Indiana in 1907. These laws led to the forced sterilization of tens of thousands of individuals deemed unfit to reproduce, including those with mental illnesses, disabilities, and individuals from marginalized groups. Eugenics-based sterilization laws were enacted in various other countries, including Canada. Eugenic ideas also influenced American immigration policies, with the Immigration Act of 1924 being designed in part to limit the influx of immigrants from regions considered to be less desirable based on eugenic criteria. The eugenics movement was further legitimized by the 1927 U.S. Supreme Court decision in Buck v. Bell, which upheld the constitutionality of state-enforced sterilization laws, with Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes famously declaring, three generations of imbeciles are enough. Agencies like the Public Health Service supported eugenic research, and eugenics principles were incorporated into policies on immigration and sterilization. The FBI, under J. Edgar Hoover, and other government entities were aware of and, at times, supported eugenics policies indirectly by backing research or advocating for certain public health measures. Eugenics also found strong support in various European countries, particularly in the United Kingdom, Germany, and Scandinavia. In the UK, eugenics was promoted by prominent intellectuals and scientists, including members of the British Eugenics Society, which was founded in 1907. Although Britain did not enact widespread sterilization laws, eugenic ideas influenced public health policies and debates over social welfare. Scandinavian countries, such as Sweden and Norway, implemented eugenic policies, including sterilization programs that persisted into the 1970s. These programs often targeted those considered socially or racially inferior, including the poor and ethnic minorities. In Germany, the eugenics movement took a particularly extreme and destructive form under the Bolite Jews of the Nazi regime. The Jewish Nazi Bolites implemented a vast and brutal eugenics program that included forced sterilization, euthanasia, and ultimately, the genocide of millions of their own people during the Holocaust, eugenicists and Operation Paperclip. The intelligence services, including organizations such as the British Intelligence Service and various governmental and academic bodies, had a complex and varied role in the development and application of eugenics. Intelligence agencies themselves were not typically the primary implementers of eugenics programs, their influence and the support they provided to eugenic ideas indirectly contributed to the broader impact of these policies. Some scientists who were brought to America under Operation Paperclip by British intelligence, American intelligence and the Catholic Church had been involved in controversial or unethical research during the Bolite Jew Nazi era. Arto Bock, Hans Reuter, Hubert Strughold, and Karl Berendt are just a small examples of eugenicists saved and given citizenship in America. Conclusion Human sexuality and gender identity are diverse and deeply personal aspects of the human experience. Population growth and control are separate issues that have historically been addressed through family planning and public health initiatives. The concept of using changes in sexual orientation gender identity as a tool for population reduction is an ongoing global debate that raises serious ethical concerns. It is crucial that discussions on these topics are informed by accurate information and respect for individual rights.